Just Bruce Sussman. Okay, well, skies are clearing many places tonight, and that's a sign of things to come for the evening. Clearing skies, yes, but also temperatures falling into the 30s and areas of fog developing. Watch for a few slick spots possible late tonight. And tomorrow morning, we will have some pretty widespread frost. We're also going to have some freezing fog around the valley and the metro area, even along the coast, it's possible. And then an east breeze kicks in, and that turns windy as the weekend wears on. But right now, it is so quiet out there 44 degrees and the winds are calm. They won't stay that way much longer though. Tomorrow things start to ramp up a little bit in the wind department. Live Doppler tracking the last few straggler showers that are dying out over the Cascades right now. Six hundredths of an inch of rain today. That's since midnight. About three times that amount if you count the downpours from last night. I think we ended up with 16 hundredths total. And look at this. Two inches of fresh snow and finally some fresh tracks up at places like Mount Hood Meadows. That's where these pictures are from. Boy, they did the best they could to, to really maximize the two inches uh, that did fall up on the mountain. And that's the last snow we're going to see for a while. But look at the skies up there. Just beautiful. And there's more sunny weather like that for the weekend on the mountain. 48 was our high today in Portland. A lot of places were in the 40s. I think our temperatures will drop a little bit for the highs this weekend. High pressure is in control, and that does mean a dry weekend. Storms like this one can't get to us. The other storm has moved off to the east that moved through last night. So there really are still some weather issues to watch for though. Three of them in fact that I think you should know about. Number one, areas of morning freezing fog could create slick spots. That's both Saturday and Sunday mornings. Then watch for areas of frost both Saturday and Sunday morning as well. And then gusty east wind develops and 40 mile an hour gusts are possible for those of you near the gorge. Now, I, I don't think it'll be uh, early on in the weekend because this is 7 a.m. tomorrow. There's just not much wind. These are the gusts, you know, maybe 10, 15 miles an hour in the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. There is is more east wind across parts of the metro that will limit the fog. And then it's Sunday where we really want to watch the east wind just howling out of the gorge. It's going to be one of those days where people will be up at, uh, at, uh, at the watch points in the gorge to kind of check out what's going on with the east wind. But for the rest of us, it'll turn breezy, it'll be sunny, and it's also going to be chilly because of that wind. So tomorrow it's quiet to start. Morning clouds and fog possible along the coast and the valley. And then we get to the sunshine shine most places. Central and eastern Oregon, a mostly sunny day on the way for you at teens and 20s in the morning. We'll see patchy morning fog and frost through the gorge. Then the east wind really gets howling tomorrow evening for those of you on the west end of the gorge. And then up on Mount Hood, a beautiful sun filled day. It will turn breezy later on, but the morning should be pretty quiet. 30 for a morning low in Portland, 46 for an afternoon high. The morning fog and frost gets blown out of here by that east breeze, but we start in the 20s a lot of places tomorrow morning. So it's going to be a chilly one around here, no matter how you slice it. Even with the sun in the afternoon, if you have the breeze at your house, it'll have a bite to it. Uh, as far as the seven day forecast goes, dry all the way until we get to Monday evening. That's our first chance of rain. And then it's wet at times as we go through the rest of the week, which means more mountain snow is coming in. But I'm really Very excited good. about the dry weather this weekend because mm -hmm. a lot of people need to take lights down. True. Yeah. You know, just yeah. do the kind of post holiday cleanup type stuff, and it's mm -hmm. good weather to do that. I'm I'm still yeah. staring at the tree. Yeah. Going, okay, I'm coming. Yes. I'm coming. I usually just... take my lights down in June. Yeah. <laughs> and your neighbors, they were just calling me about that. Thanks, Thank you, Bruce. Bruce.